Hi everyone, <clears throat> uh, thanks for watching this video. So this is going to be the first in a series of videos on building up the um, SFX100 motion platform for the simulator. So uh, first stage is to take this 100 by 100 profile that you get from Kinetic. Uh, the link will be in the description of the video. Um, and again, available from the Kinetic uh, website, these little self-tapping threaded inserts. Um, so we've got to fit those. You need to fit, I think it's eight per uh, profile. Now that profile length is 250 millimeters, if I remember correctly. Um, but I'll put the proper details in the description. Um, right, so to fit these, you're supposed to just use a Allen key because there's a little hex broached into the inside of this uh, insert and basically just screw it into the four holes in the channel. Uh, kind of a little bit uncomfortable about doing this because the first one I tried um, got stuck a little bit um, but I've, I've managed to repair it and I'm happy with the repair in my view but I want to be a little bit careful and also not 100% sure what size allen key they think that you should be using to put it in because a 6mm allen key is too small uh, and so far anyway, I've not found a Allen key set with a six and a half mil Allen key. Um, so I'm using a quarter inch. Now a quarter inch doesn't sound like that's the sort of thing a German company would uh, opt to use. Um, but it does seem to work, but you do have to be, you know, slightly careful. Um, So I've chosen to use my saw jaws to hold it because they're nice and flat and give a nice clamp. So I'm just using a piece of cardboard either side so I don't damage the alley profile itself. Just to hold it nice and tight. And then the idea is You just screw these into the profile. Now, having had one get stuck, being a lot more careful with the other ones. So, like any traditional tapping method, do a turn, then go back half a turn to clear the swarf out. It's got channels in the, in each hole, it's got channels down the sides to allow the swarf to get out. Um, but I don't think it's a bad idea to use a traditional tapping method just to prevent any problems with it seizing. And so wind it in until it's sub flush of the top surface. And what it's done is it's <clears throat> burred that slightly. So in a moment, I'll run a uh, sanding pad over that and just deburr that so that it keeps that nice and flat. So like I say, four in each end, total of eight per uh, profile. And just to make sure that the hex key, Allen key hasn't damaged the thread run a M8 bolt into it, it all seems fine. If you do find that it's a bit sticky, then um, don't try and force it in, run a M8 uh, tap down it, clean that thread out first, 
because getting that out is going to be a complete bugger. And for most of us, I think that's would scrap the uh, scrap the profile. Right, so I'll put the other three in. Getting them started going in straight is a little bit tricky. And it's worth just being a bit circumspect when you first start. Just check that it is going in straight. Right, so they are all, in this case, all eight um, inserts put in. And I've just run the um, sanding disc on my grinder over, just locally over the top, just to knock any burrs off. And I've just run um, an, eight, an M8 tap, just started an M8 tap in all of them, just to make sure any burrs um, don't prevent you from starting the bolt in it when you come to assemble it and so obviously per motion rig there's four of these to do and that's the first thing you've got to do before you can start building up anything else um well i guess the first thing you really ought to be doing is ordering all the bits like i've done and um, starting the 3d printing so just a little bit on time frames um day one i ordered everything Day two, I started getting the parts that came from Amazon. Uh, after about a week, no, probably after th after a weekend, we had the first set of bits off the 3D printer. Um, and we're currently on the second set of parts. Uh, within a, yeah, about, about seven or eight days, I got these. I've had... Um, now had all of the parts that come from Germany. Um, I think the ball screws came after about seven days. The uh, motor drives, or well, motor and drives, are um, on their way from China. I think they're due any day. The customs is the hold up on that. Um, and there are a couple of small parts that come from China that haven't been sent yet. So. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the lead time is going to be on those. But from the point of view of, of making a start, I'm making a start essentially on day eight. Um, I think it's going to be another 10 days probably before all of the 3D printed parts are finished. So I'm not actually going to get to, to build too much more um, for another 10 days probably. Um, in which time hopefully the motor, motors and drives have come from China um, and we can actually start assembling something um, approaching the final actuator. Okay, so there's a closer look up at the inserts and the profile shape. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to, uh, to the channel and you'll get notifications when I do the other videos, which hopefully will just be in the next few days. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.